if you look for the omega n, this is the so-called principal Jacobi uh, sequence in the theory of orthogonal polynomia. If you look at the uh, commutation relation uh, corresponding uh, to the uh, standard Eisenberg, it corresponds to omega n equal to n. The commutation relation corresponding to the quadratic Eisenberg is this. It, it is equal to the commutator between B minus and B plus is omega n minus omega n minus 1. As you see, it will be a quadratic expression in n. The, the, the Eisenberg commutation relation are very particular because the omega n sequence is a, a is the integer. So the difference between omega n and omega n minus 1 is a constant, is 1. Okay? Uh, in the case of omega n like the, this, the interval, the, this is the third representation of SL2R that you can obtain in terms of interactive force. This is the point. That if you want a precise definition of interactive force space, it, it will be the rather wrong. What I can tell you is that intuitively, an interacting force space is the most general space in which creators and annihilators are well defined, and they have the fundamental property of being one of the adjoint of the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Some more information, of course, I can, but... Uh, right. but uh, Thank you. Thank you. There is another question. Is it something done in multi-mode uh, multi keys? Because it is uh, the same situation, you can, based on the Beresian book, uh, calculate the vacuum, uh, vacuum means, and uh, are there the same relation to the probability theory? Because uh, in a general case, uh, the multi-mode case don't, uh, 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 doesn't a simple uh, sum of one-mode cases. No, this is true. This is what we know. We, pro we proved the in the paper with the Aref and Boloch, we discussed, there is a section in which we discuss it. And what uh, I can tell you is that you can, uh, the, the, the multi-mode case, you can do in uh, two ways by taking uh, exactly uh, a sum of uh, copies, independent copies of a set to R. And in this case, you will get product Meissner. But uh, in the general case, you don't get product Meissner. And in fact, in probability theory, the uh, uh, this is another open problem that, uh, to which we are devoting our effort. In probability theory, there is uh, n almost nothing uh, about multidimensional Meissner. Almost nothing, and the whole literature is not in pure mathematics, but mainly in statistics because this is a very important application. So, they, uh, there is a theory of multidimensional Meissner in statistics. And uh, our idea, our proposal in the paper with Arevi and Bolovic is to define a multidimensional Meissner as <coughs> the Fourier transform of the quadratic Hamilton. However, as you know very well, the formula in the Berezin and Friedrich's uh, book books are, for non-quadratic case are explicit only in very, very, very special cases. Otherwise, they are implicit. They depend on uh, the inverse of a certain operator, which is not given explicitly, unfortunately.